Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, Episode 609. The Gallery Cancer Early Detection Test. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your host is Dr. Kathy Moffat, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging. Dr. Maupin is the author of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the award-winning book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of testosterone replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast. Today we're going to talk about new technology that BioBalance uh, has incorporated into its treatment for our patients. Um, We try to look for new and um, cutting edge either tests or treatments that will help our patients live longer, healthier lives. So even though our, our treatment is based on replacing the hormones that are missing as we get older. It is also preventive medicine, and in preventive medicine is early detection of cancers. So there's a new test called the Gallery test, G-A-L-L-E-R-I. This is the the little box that the um, uh, blood tube comes in that we draw blood from our patients, put it into the tube, send it away, and within 14 business days, we get an answer as to whether there is any cancer that is that they can see or if there is if there is one or if there is nothing in general happily we have had mostly negative tests but this test is for people who have many cancers that run in their family or one cancer that runs in the family that is hard to to detect so let's let's explain screening first of all a screening test is a test that we do on a, a large population of people that can find people who might have that that disease or that cancer. Uh, Currently, we only have five tests that actually um, can be considered screening tests. One is the mammogram for breast cancer. That's one of the screening tests. The other is cervical cancer screening, which is uh, pap smear and HPV testing. Uh, The third is colon cancer, and that's colonoscopies and biopsy. Uh, Fourth is lung cancer by using low-dose CAT scans. And the last is prostate cancer by using a PSA test. All of those tests that you've always heard about are, um, are screening tests. That means they have a very high sensitivity, but they're not specific. In other words, when you do these tests, it's going to find more people than actually have that cancer. So many people who get one of these tests come back, that come back positive, in the end, when they test for the cancer, it's, it's not cancer. It's a benign finding. So that's, but that's the basis of a screening test. A screening test will find more people than have the disease. It's very sensitive, but it's not very specific. So gallery is another screening test, although it is more uh, sensitive and specific than other screening tests. It is uh, one test that can tell uh, approximately uh, 90 cancers. The only cancers that are obviously not in the list, which we are going to put up on the screen, um, are brain cancers and thyroid cancers. So those two cancers, except for those two, it finds, in general, the other cancers that can occur in someone's body. Now, some people waste a lot of time and effort and worry and anxiety, and that's not healthy, worrying about whether they have cancer or not. This is one of the tests for people who are worriers, and they're not making themselves healthier by worrying. If you find out by taking this test that you don't have any of those cancers and that you've been worrying about, then you can kind of be relieved and, and, you know, maybe come back in a year and do it again if you want, if you need more relief. It's psychologically beneficial to do that for those patients. Other patients have cancers that follow them through their family tree and they want to find it early. They want to find it before it's, it has spread, before it has done damage. And 
as you know, most cancers, we, I just listed the cancers that we can find with a screening test. Most cancers we don't find until the, they are very advanced and we can't treat them very, very easily or even completely. This test gives you an advantage of finding the cancer when it is very early and treatable. And that is, that's not, it's unheard of in any other medical test. So what is the test? The test is basically just a blood test. We actually draw blood from our patients. We package it up in this, and then we send it back to the gallery lab. They run the tests on it, and then they give us uh, a report of if there are any cancers present, and if there are, what they are, or what they think they are. And then uh, we have to go through them to decide on the next step. They have, they've figured all of this out for all the cancers. So, so if we don't know the next step, then the gallery um, doctors will help us find the next step for our patient. We decided to do this um, partially because we could find cancers early, partially because patients worry, um, and, and then the third group of people, partially because we have patients who have had cancer of some type before, and they're worried about a recurrence. I think that would be the, the biggest reason I would want to have the test and do it on a rotating basis is to see if I have a recurrence of a cancer if I had one. So that would be another group of individuals who would find this very helpful and it would ease their mind to know that they don't have a recurrence at this time. Now this test is not a genetic test for your genetics to see if you have the genes to have a cancer. This is a test that looks for the ge genetics that are dispersed into the blood when you have a cancer. These little tiny pieces of, of DNA that are made by the cancer. Cancers are not the same DNA as your normal cells. They make, they have a DNA change. They've been mutated and they look different than a normal cell, say a normal colon cell does not like, look like um, a cancer, colon cancer cell. Uh, when you look at the genetics or you look at it under the microscope. So they are looking for these little pieces of information from, these, from any of these many cancers uh, that are circulating in your blood. And they circulate long before they appear. Um, for example, if a, if a cell in the breast becomes cancerous, then it takes 11 years for that cell to multiply into a mass that we can see by mammogram. 11 years. So wouldn't you like to know that you had something that can be surveilled and then removed as soon as they can see it and find it? That would be something that would be very helpful because then you wouldn't die of it. Then you might not have to have chemo or, or the other uh, radiation therapy. You would find it early enough that that would not be your future. So that's, that's kind of one of the, the pieces of cancer that people don't understand. They think that it's like here today, like yeah, yesterday it wasn't there, Here it, it's here and visible to us so that we can get rid of it or re remove it or, uh, or give chemo to it to um, poison it, um, like the next day. It takes time to, to get to a point where we can actually see it. But this test can find it when there's just tiny little pieces of uh, DNA from the cancer in your blood. So that is, this is going to be someday more of a routine kind of test for screening for cancers. It would prevent and save people a lot of time, money, and even their life uh, to have this done. I don't think everyone should do it. I think people who don't have any cancer in their family um, and who do, have not had any abnormal cells and have not had any, um, any cancers before and they're not looking for a recurrence. I mean, I don't think that this is a test that everyone should do. It's, it would always be negative in most people. So, for, but for people who are at risk, these three different groups, I think it's very important that they should consider this test. Now, the test is just a blood test, but the process that they go through uh, and the cost of the test is rather high. Just depends on who you are and whether you want to spend the money on this. Um, the, the um, test is, I'll have to read, so the, the test itself is $949, or 
We don't get in the middle of that. We don't mark it up. We don't do any of that. We just take the test from our patient that it, they pay for an office visit. They get the blood test. They discuss the test with uh, our nurse practitioners and we give them the, the results uh, from that test uh, during or after that uh, office visit. So the test is directly uh, paid from you to gallery. There's no upcharging. So that's important to know, but it is $949. Um, you have to put a credit card down for that. And um, they do have some payment programs for this if this was absolutely necessary or you felt like uh, you are worried about a recurrence or you are worried about a familial uh, cancer and you wanted to catch it before anyone else could and, and take care of it. So this is something that you or your loved one may, it may save their lives. It may save your, save your life. But once again, there's not one, it's not for everybody. It's a screening test, but not a screening test for every person. I don't have any cancer in my family. Um, we die of diabetes and obesity and, and heart attacks. So to me, I wouldn't be a good candidate for this. I haven't had cancer. I don't worry about cancer. And yes, I could still get it. I still get my mammograms. I still get all of my screening tests. And this does not replace screening tests. We still want you to get your colonoscopies. If you're a smoker, get your lung tests. I mean, get your CT of the lung. If you... Um, Basically, if you're a male, you should have your prostate evaluated with a PSA test. Up until a certain point, they've changed the guidelines. I still do PSA tests on all our, our patients before we give them testosterone and while we're giving them testosterone. So it's, you know, screening tests have their place and they're very important because they'll find things before you have symptoms. But like, if you want to be if you want to live through pancreatic cancer, you won't know you have that until it's pretty big and it, it may not even be treatable then. That's, that's a deadly cancer. Ovarian cancer can be found with this. All the GYN cancers and the urolo urologic cancers can be found. ENT cancers can be found with this. And a lot of those don't have symptoms until they're already out and metastasized. So this is something that might be useful for your situation or one of your loved one's situation. We offer this um, to our patients as a kind of an extra uh, benefit because we have it, we know how to use it, we can, we can help them through the process of drawing the blood and explaining everything to them. And then we can help them with a decision if it is positive. So this is something that if you see an oncologist, if you are worried about a familial cancer or if you've already had cancer, um, or if you're just a worrier and anxious and for some reason you're worried about having cancer, then this would be a test that you might want to consider. It's just a blood draw. But it should be done in a doctor's office. Many, many um, internal medicine and, and primary cares are starting to consider using this. So you may want to ask your doctor about it. So if you have one of these issues that put you at risk for getting cancer or being nervous about cancer, then, uh, then I think you should ask your doctor about this. And if you're one of our patients, then you can ask us about it and set up a time for us to go over everything with you, draw your blood, and send it in. So that's the newest thing we have at BioBalance Health. And hopefully this was informational for you and helped you decide whether this would be a good decision for you or not. Thank you for listening. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the BioBalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth.